Today we're learning Hestia. This is a seated pose, and because it's a seated pose, if you have any tightness in your hips, you may want a little something to sit on. I have kind of a uh, yoga or meditation kind of bolster or poof here, that'll work. You could also just use a pillow or a couple of towels folded and stacked on top of each other or a yoga block, or you may not need one to access the pose correctly, um, or you may feel perfectly comfortable without one. So any of those are options. Uh, this pose can be done with two different leg positions, so I'm going to show both of those to you. The first is with the legs crossed. So what I want you to notice here is the legs are crossed, but they're not tucked here. So it's not a lotus position like um, in yoga. Your feet are still dorsiflexed. Feet and toes are pulled back towards the shin. So we've got activity through the legs. So the feet are almost kind of pushing into the legs there. So we have a lot of um, isometric activity through the bottom half of the body there. Then we're coming up same, all the same principles. Pelvis should be neutral, so not dumped back. If it's really dumped back and you're having trouble getting into a neutral position, sit on something to make uh, your seat a little bit higher. Trunk stacked on top there, like it's just a straight line. We're not lifted up and we're not slumped. Then from there, the head is lengthening through the neck and we have options for the arms as well. We could do Venus arms, which we already learned, or Athena arms. And one position, this low Athena, we can rest our hands on our knees here and we're pressing, we're doing that same activity where we're widening the shoulders, pressing out through that round hula hoop or bowl or barrel, but into the legs. This makes a really nice connection. Lower half of the body is active, top half of the body is active, and then from here, we can go into our cycles of breath. So today, let's try four on, six, or four in, six out. We'll do three rounds on the last one. We'll do the expiratory apnea, if you would like. And this is similar to what you would be doing in a level one low pressure fitness class. Okay. Feet are active, pressing into each other. Everything is stacked here and neutral. Also notice the little axis forward. Head is lengthened. Arms are in low Athena, pushing out and down against the thighs. And then we're breathing in for one, two, three, four. Out for two, three, four, five, six. In for one, two, three, four. Out for six, five, four. This is where you're really lengthening and pressing wider on the exhale. Last inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale to prepare the apnea, five, six, and inhaling and exhale. Let's see the other position for the legs. This is out in front of us with a slight bend in the knee, feet still about hip distance apart or that hand width apart. Now you're actively pressing through the heels. They're not going anywhere, but they're kind of actively pushing away. So you need a little, if you're too slippery, then it's not gonna work, but you're kind of digging the heels in, pushing them away. Pelvis is neutral, stacked on top, head lengthened. Again, we can do the low position or we could come here and press out this way. But let's try with this connected position and we're a little bit axis forward. So we're not arching, we're just leaning into this a little bit. And then we do our breathing here. Breathing in for one, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, 
six. Everything lengthens through there. One, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three. You're about to prepare the apnea. Breathing in and out. Wonderful.